हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज हेना तलाटी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग इट्स टूमारो न्यूज इट वुड बी शॉकिंग टू नो दैट वंस अवर प्लानिट अर्थ वॉज कम्प्लीटली कवर्ड विथ आइस दैट इट लुक लाइक अ स्नोबॉल अर्थ द अर्थ हैज एंड मैनी चेंजेस इन इट्स फोर पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन ईयर्स हिस्ट्री विथ सम ट्यूमिलिटियस ट्विस्ट एंड टर्न अलॉन्ग द वे वन एस्पेशली ड्रामेटिक एपिसोड एपियर्स टू हैव कम बिटवीन सेवन हंड्रेड मिलियन एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलियन ईयर्स अगो वेन साइंटिस्ट थिंक आइस मोदर द एंटायर प्लानिट फ्रॉम द पोल्स टू इक्वेटर टू वाइज इन क्विक सक्सेशन ड्रॉइंग ऑन द एविडेंस अक्रॉस द मल्टीपल कॉन्टिनेंट्स साइंटिस्ट से दिस नोबल अर्थ इवेंट्स मे हैव पेव द वे फ्रॉम द कैमरियन एक्सप्लोजन ऑफ लाइफ दैट फॉलोड द पीरियड वेन कॉम्प्लेक्स मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स बिगेन टू डाइवर्सिफाई एंड स्प्रेड अक्रॉस द प्लानिट The evidence for the hypothesis is found in the old rocks that preserve signs of the Earth's ancient magnetic field. Measurements of these rocks indicate that the rocks known to be associated with the presence of ice were formed near the equator. In addition, there is 45 meter thick layer of manganese ore in the Kalahari Desert, with an age corresponding to the end of 2.4 billion year snowball Earth period. its deposition is thought to have been caused by the rapid and massive changes in global climate as the worldwide covering of ice melted another much earlier longer snowball episode the huronian glaciation which would have occurred 2400 to 2100 million years ago may have triggered by the first appearance of abundant oxygen in the atmosphere which was known as great oxidation event when the snowball events occurred the supercontinent rodinia was in the process of breaking up the supercontinent is a state in which all the continents are clustered together in one group the reason why people think there is connection that the break up of the supercontinent would increase rainfall in the continental areas and that would increase the weathering of the crustal rocks the weathering of the rocks actually consumes the carbon dioxide so that lead to less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and therefore colder climate as for what actually caused the immediate trigger attention has focused in recent years on the sequence of very large volcanic eruptions that occurred in what is now high arctic of canada These eruptions occurred around 1717 million and 1719 million years ago. When you get fire fountains lava that comes out of one place over a period of weeks or months, you get a strong thermal upwelling in the atmosphere from the heating effect of that lava. This upwelling can lop surface aerosols into the atmosphere where they hang around for significant amount of time. This surface glass particles reflect incoming solar radiation and have a strong cooling effect. Because of the coincidence in the timing between these eruptions and the onset of the first and longer of the two snowball earths, it's been postulated that that may have been the immediate trigger. Global temperature fell so low that the equator was as cold as modern day Antarctica. These low temperatures were maintained by the high albedo of the ice sheets which reflected most incoming solar energy into the space. This low temperature was maintained by the high albedo of the ice sheets which reflected most incoming solar energy into the space. a lack of heat retaining clouds caused by the water vapor freezing out of the atmosphere amplified this effect that's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news for more global weather updates like this subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates